All right, we got a lot going on today. Got to go to Target, got to get some groceries, got to go get a workout in, got to cook some Brussels sprouts, big stuff. So to kick it off all right, got to take down this LaCroix. Greetings to all. Oh, Don't try this at home. Ah. All right, now we can go. First things first, we give the bacon a little pre-bake. That's some fancy terminology from the Great British Baking Show. Sorry if you're already lost. It basically just means you cook the bacon a little bit first. Not all the way, just enough to get a little crispiness to it. The Brussels sprouts add a little salt, olive oil, pepper, bake it. I'm gonna bake it at 425 for about 20 minutes just because the bacon already has a little pre-bake to it and we'll see how that goes. I'm totally roasting these vegetables right now. What are you guys supposed to be, Brussels sprouts? Because you don't, you don't look too sprouty to me. <laughs> Got them. Keep on roasting. Welcome to another episode of Matt's Rejected Jingles. Welcome to Qdoba, where the food takes you over. Tastes so good you can't get over it. It's Qdoba. Something like that. Chicken, steak, add guac, of course. I feel like I had to get the chicken after seeing it all stacked so beautifully on the grill there. And I'm glad I did. All right, let me break it down for you. Qdoba is an adequate replacement for Chick-fil-A. That said... The I do miss Chipotle. I was just telling Leah yesterday, uh, the steak is better at Chipotle, and the um, the guacamole is better at Chipotle. Other than that, Qdoba chicken was killer. The rice delicious, perfectly cooked, um, and it filled me up big time that bowl. So got the job done. Thank you, Qdoba. Again, it was good. Thank you also for the many great years Chipotle. Oh my goodness, should we get this for Bella? Look at that. The Bark Food Court Bundle. Now for your educational portion of the vlog. I just learned today myself, I had to look this up because they had both Parmesan, spelled out the traditional way, and uh, Parmigiano Reggiano from Italy. I guess it's not legit Parmesan unless it's from Italy. So I, I got the good stuff here and I think it's gonna be delicious, but I never knew that. You can make Parmesan, P-A-R-R-M, -R -R how's it even spelled? Yeah, you know, the usual Parmesan way, uh, E-S-A-N. You can make that anywhere, but this stuff has gotta come from Italy, so gonna give this a try. That's gonna do it for today. Thanks for coming along on my adventure of Comparing Chipotle and Qdoba and learning about cheese with me. You never know what you're going to get here on the, on the blog. So we'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your week.